it's really important for advisors to understand what companies can do with cash and how we perceive it in our portfolios. Yeah. Well, again, let's just go back. You know, um, history, the historical rate of return in equities over the long term cycle is somewhere between, let's call it eight and 10 percent with dividends reinvested over the cycles. Um, two thirds of that are dividends and distributions reinvested, not capital gains. So if a company generates cash, they could basically do five things, in my opinion, with the cash. They could do nothing. And historically, those are the companies that have the worst relative performance. Um, they can do M&A. Uh, which is great by other companies, by the businesses, but nine out of 10 times, there's no value added because cultures clash, products don't um, uh, mesh in terms of sales and distribution. And so the likelihood on a, on a percentage basis is one in 10 that a, that a merger or acquisition could add value. So then you get to, um, they could do nothing, okay? They could do, they could do absolutely nothing with the cash, um, which is the worst thing to do. So if do nothing is the worst thing to do. Uh, M&A doesn't give you a, a high probability. Um, then you can do, um, you can basically buy back stock, which is is sometimes contingent on the cap, on the markets itself. And so buying back stock um, is, 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 is better than doing nothing. But the two best things that a company can do is grow, use the cash flow to grow their own businesses organically. But not every business has the ability to grow organically. So the history shows that companies that have a disciplined dividend and distribution recycling to shareholders is the best use of long term capital, free cash flow, because that is the most certain thing you can cash in the shareholders hands to be reinvested or to be redistributed out is the best use of cash in the cycle. 